An actress in West Bengal was assaulted by her neighbor in the Hooghly district of Kolkata. Oitri Banerjee and her parents were badly beaten up when they tried to protest loud noise levels from the neighbor's flat. Oitri and her parents lodged an FIR and the culprits have been arrested. Eight people were killed when an express train in Bihar mowed down a bus at an unmanned level crossing. The accident occurred due to a mistake by railway authorities. An enraged mob went on the rampage, setting on fire all the coaches of the Havra Kart Godam Bagh Express. Helpless police officers were seen watching the train go up in flames as the mob and bereaved families of victims gave vent to their anger. Vijay Malia, Chairman Kingfisher Airlines, will make a presentation to the SBI-led consortium of banks on the airline's fundraising plan. However, it is still unclear on what concrete revival plan he has to offer and share with bankers, which have already declared KFA's accounts a non-performing asset. SBI alone has an exposure of 1,500 crore rupees to KFA. The cash-strapped airlines continues to default on its service tax outstanding, amounting to over 60 crore rupees. Tension prevailed on the Osmania University campus when pro Telangana students pelted stones at the police when they were prevented from taking out a rally to the secretariat. The police responded by lobbing tear gas shells to disperse the agitated crowd who continued to hurl stones at brief intervals before fleeing inside the university. Students demanded an announcement from the centre on the Telangana issue and gave the centre a 48 hour ultimatum. Kochi's film star Kerala Mohanlal yesterday inaugurated South India's tallest residential building in the city with a colourful show. Named as Choice Paradise, a 40 floor, 450 foot structure covering an area of 2.5 lakh square feet, is said to be the tallest in the entire southern India, according to the company. Lack of space and soaring cost of land is the, the coastal city of Kochi. Do the company's heads to think of such a mega structure? This building has been built to withstand earthquakes of an intensity of 7.2 on the Richter scale and keeping all the security parameters in mind. The Calcutta High Court reserved its order on the contempt plea filed against the Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. The West Bengal Chief Minister is in the dock after advocate and former mayor of Kolkata, Bikas Bhattacharjee, filed a petition against her on the allegedly derogatory remarks she had made against the judiciary. She also criticized former Supreme Court Judge Ashok Ganguly and his actions as the chairman of the West Bengal Human Rights Commission. Keeping with the party with Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi is the latest from the BJP to accuse the Congress party of misusing the CBI. Narendra Modi addressing the party's national executive accused the central government of indulging in corruption, misgovernance and using the CBI to fight elections in Gujarat. Coal India is all set to reduce its dependence on imported coal. According to the new fuel supply agreement, Coal India will meet 80% of coal requirements of power companies. For imported coal, power companies would have to make advance payment and won't be able to refuse the coal once the order is placed. The new agreement will be applicable to power generation units commission after December 2009. After achieving India's London Dreams Olympic bronze medalist, Saina Nehwal will fly in an Indian Air Force trainer jet Kiran Mark II. The special flight is being organized to felicitate her for her medal-winning feat at the Olympics. The badminton ace has been invited by the Indian Air Force Academy at Dindigul and will be flying this sortie for about 25 minutes from the Air Force base. Apart from the flight, Saina Nehwal is also expected to play a round of badminton with Air Force cadets and their families. Indian markets ended the session down by over 0.2% on Thursday. The BSE Sensex ended at 18,579.5, down 52.6 points. The NAC Nifty ended at 5,649.5, down 13.95 points. 
the FMCG index was up by 1.51%. On the other hand, oil and gas index was down by 1.6%, followed by IT index 1.1%. And TCK index 0.89%. Larson and Two Bro, Tata Par and HUL were the top three gainers, while Sterlite, Hero Motocorp, and ONGC were the top three losers.